in Botham. I'm here to try out this Oculoscope Myo Pulse thing. I'm, um, my, I have MS, multiple sclerosis, and I'm here um, to see what it can or can't do for me. Currently, I'm, I'm progress, uh, relapsing, remitting, progressive, and uh, Never know what's going to happen from day to day. So, and my history proves that I've had major exacerbations like every other year. Uh, I'm taking Tecpidera today, and it seems to be helping a lot better than my shots. However, I'm still blind in my left eye, and my right uh, peripheral, my right left peripheral has deteriorated. So that's one thing. The other thing is my balance. Um, I walk with a cane and just to make sure I know where the floor is. I never know exactly where the ground is. And I have uh, my walking is not steady or standing or sitting or anything else. Um, I have symptoms all throughout my body. I have what's known as banding on my head and my forearm and my breast and my, my thigh. Um, I have the tinglings, of course, all on my right side. And my feet, I have tingling and just recently started having swelling, which I wasn't, I'm not sure what, it, what it's from. Whew, what else? It's like I have a towering inferno inside me where I'm, my left side is fighting with my right side because my left side, there's only like 80% of it there. I never know what it's doing. Uh, and my cognitive thinking is not clear. I, I can't multitask like I once used to. Most of us can't do that anymore, but mine is really deteriorated quite a bit. Uh, math, I'm, I'm no good in math anymore. I can't seem to add or subtract numbers. And um, I believe that's, uh, that's about my, my, my symptoms to my multiple sclerosis. Other than that, I'm a healthy person. Can you do me a favor and do some walking for me because you're walking <laughs> hold on i wanted to get somewhere and stay <laughs> why don't you stay in one place yeah that's what okay to the door okay turn turn around walk down to the door and then walk back okay. Okay. And then walk back. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't know you were going to come for exercise, did you? Yeah. Well, that's another thing. My fatigue is enormous fatigue. It's not like any other. It's when my body quits, my body quits. Mm -hmm. I can't even think about contemplate another step. Okay. Okay, let me ask you a couple, couple questions. Uh, do you know what day today is? <laughs> Monday. Monday. Okay. Do you know what time it is, roughly? Uh, two. Okay. And how about uh, what is uh, nine plus seven? Uh, 16. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Are we done? Are you ready to charge up and see what uh, see what we can do? Let's do it. Okay. okay. This is day three after day three, the beginning of day four before she has her fourth treatment.
And uh, so, we're, so we're here with Lita Higginbotham. And we're just going to ask her how she felt again yesterday after the treatment till today. Yesterday I went home. Um, there was uh, something of some eyesight that something came back. I didn't wasn't quite sure, but I was able to identify the white and black. And I was able to identify two fingers this close to my eye. Um, and I kept looking to make sure it was true, and it, it, it was true. And I, But I was tired again. I stopped to get something to eat. I sat down, got home, sat down, ate a bite to eat, cleaned it up, went back, sat down, and fell right to sleep again. Slept until uh, it was around 10. I woke up and had to pee, and then I went to the bathroom. And I was I picked up a white piece of paper tried to ID it as a white piece of paper and I couldn't and it, it, I looked at things and everything was a block thing. nothing no color no nothing and I just went to bed I went lay down turned the TV on tried to watch it and I don't recall watching anything and I don't recall going to sleep I went to sleep and slept the entire night which I normally don't do. And I normally don't wake up, which I got up about nine uh, this morning and and just got up, just got right on up. And I don't get right on up. It takes me a while to get up and at them. And I, I've done that again today. And I don't have that pain that I had in my Saturnalia. I didn't have it this morning. I always have it in the morning. I didn't take a pain pill. I always take a pain pill in the morning. So I didn't take a pain pill and I'm trying to find it. I don't have it. So I don't know. I, I don't know. This is day four. We'll see. Okay. Can we um, have you walk? All the way down. I tell you, I know. I thought it would be good to remind you. Okay, and then the only other thing is, so what is the date? Today's, oh, October 22nd. It's my sister's birthday. That's wonderful. Okay, and uh, how old are you? I'm 57. Where, what is the, this town that we're in right now? This is the Villages. No, it's Summerfield. <laughs> but you were close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's all we have. But um, thank you very much, Lita. Well, you're welcome very much. We're back with Lita, and Lita, we're still on the uh, ninth treatment you've just finished, and we're getting ready to do the tenth, but we started talking a little bit, and uh, Bill's going to ask you some questions. So we're going to deal a little bit uh, right now with uh, hand coordination of your left hand, and so show us what you can do now and what the difference is. Okay, I can touch each finger individually, whereas before I couldn't. That was very hard for me to do. Okay, and so let's try some. Uh, let's try some coordination and put your finger to your nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're thinking. Okay, and that's your right hand. Try it with your thumb. Okay, so it's your hand. I know what this means. Okay. okay. So we're going to do a treatment now. We're going to go from the right side of your head to that first finger and see if we can uh, affect uh, opening up the communication line from the nerves to the brain mm -hmm. to that, uh, to that, to your finger, to your hand, to your arm. Okay. And then one other thing that I just, when, while we were talking, I was saying that the pins and needles in my feet have dissipated and I 
last night I was realizing that you know, I'm not experiencing those pins and needles. And I'm wondering if that's do if that is the reason for my walking um, more confident. Okay. Then. And this is the, this is still the 10th day, but we're after the 10th treatment. And we wanted to see how she fared with her uh, touching her nose again. Uh, so Lita, will you touch your nose with the, well, this, this time right there. that's the one that's always worked. Okay. Now this one, that's awesome. Awesome. Okay. So uh, we see we've made a lot of progress just in that one treatment. Okay. Uh, we will see you on Monday. Bye. With Lita, and we actually missed day 11. Um, so we're actually this is uh and that was actually a couple days ago and then she skipped a day and now we're on a, this is the beginning of day 12 or treatment 12 before the treatment so lita tell me how you've been feeling since we've seen you i think it was monday monday yeah i'm feeling good i spent the whole day with gail yesterday uh running around and Ran out of the house without my cane, and Gail said, you forgot your cane, go back and get it. And I said, I've already locked up, let's go. And I, during the day, I said, I feel naked without my cane. It, it's a weird feeling in my past. But if I run out of the house not thinking about it, then I'm obviously feeling confident and stable enough <laughs> not to utilize it. Um, I'm sleeping good, and I'm waking up. I have stopped taking a couple of pills. I don't know how good that is, but it's good for me. I'm not, I still have not taken an oxycodone. This is gone. I haven't thought about that since day three. So the sacroiliac pain that was my pain that bothered me so much is gone. I haven't. Like I said, I haven't had it. I haven't been on my oxycodone, um, which is a good thing. Very good thing. I, and I don't have any side effects from it. That's another good thing. I have not been on my, I dropped my clonazepam. I take 150 milligrams of trazodone. It's about 50 milligrams of that. And I think it's 25 milligrams of clonazepam. I stopped taking that. And I'm sleeping well. Uh, what else? My provigil, my energy pill that I get, I take in the morning, I have not taken. The Adderall that keeps me energized for the duration of the day, I have not taken. So, and that's been for the last week. I hope to continue this energy level that I have. It's, it's wonderful. I need it for my move. So I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of things. Um, I, I don't know what else. Uh, I'm still a blob. <laughs> but I guess that will come in due time. Uh, my thought process is much clearer. I seem to get a lot, a lot, of, a lot done during the day. That's wonderful. Okay. And how are you doing with uh, your finger being able to uh, touch your left finger being able to touch your nose? That's my right. That's my left. <laughs> and yeah. That's my left. That's my right. So my court, my eye, or my coordination. coordination on my left side, actually, this feels good. I mean, this I always felt. I've never, 
I mean, it's been a long time since I felt that strong on mm. this side. That's awesome. So don't mess with me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's have you uh, walk a little then. Walk a little? Yeah. Cause, All the way down there? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we need to stop asking you. It's just great. She just, you know, she wants to be a model. <laughs> great, great. Thank you very much, Lita. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and start on treatment 12 and see what that has to offer us. I suppose so. Let's do it. <laughs>